Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be migrating my Plex server from one system to the mini Dell system that I've recently done a video on. Um, purely because it's safe power and it's uh, the same amount of performance. So here we are, I'm going to use this um, one as an example. My wife is re-watching our DVD set that I've put onto uh, Plex for her of Law & Order. And we can see that we've got three episodes left on season two, and she's on 219. So, pure example, this is we're going to use this one. So, when we fully migrate, we're going to see if those numbers are the same on the new server. So, the first thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that both versions are fully up to date. As you can see in the um, notif uh, notification panel, I've got no notifications, so my Plex is fully up to date. So when we install the Plex on the new system, they'll both be on the same version. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly shut this down. And now we are going to physically boot up the uh, server it's on, and I will show you that uh, over on the next screen. Right, we're on the original system here. Sorry that the capture isn't fantastic, but um, you can make out what it all is. So as you can see here at the bottom right, this is where our Plex Media Server is installed on this system. So what we want to basically do now is just shut it down. So right click and exit Plex on there. There we are, that's the server shut down. And what we're going to do here is just uh, get a couple of uh, things. So we want to go to just hit the start menu or go to your search icon. And we want to type in percent uh, local app data percent. So local app data uh, percent. So that will take you to uh, app data then local as you can see there. And then inside here, you can see the folder called Plex Media Server. This is where it is by default. If it's not here for you, then you must have installed it somewhere else when you installed it. So have a good look around for this. But by default, it is app data local. So this folder here, we basically want to make a copy of. So I'm going to copy it. And for now, I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop. So new folder. I'm just going to call it Plex stuff. So there we are, Plex stuff. Again, I do apologize that the capture is not brilliant. I'm literally seeing what you're seeing here because uh, I'm uh, using the capture device myself. So let that ca uh, copy over and we'll be back. Okay, so that is that folder set up. Now, there is uh, one other thing that it says to go to uh, that this is an optional. Um, it says you may wish to save and export these registry values um, to your destination system. So obviously, I've never done this before. I've got a little bit of information from uh, the Plex uh, thing itself. So what we want to do now then is we want to go into reg edit. So help I was typing on the correct keyboard. So reg edit. So there we are. And we're going to run it as a administrator. Yes, we uh, do want to run it. Now inside here, uh, no idea where this is take me. So we do want to go to current user. So H key current user by year. Open that one up. Uh, we then want to go to software. Open that one up. And inside software, there should be Plex Inc, which is right by here. And inside here, you will see Plex Media Server. And here is uh, a load of information which uh, you can export if you wish to. So to do that, uh, you right click. So I'm going to do the entire folder. So I'm going to right click this folder and hit export. And then it'll ask us where we want to pull it. So I'm going to pull it back on the desktop in that same folder. So stick it in Plex stuff. And what we'll call this uh, Plex um, uh, Reg Registry. Here we are Plex Registry. Save. And now that has exported. 
Now, what you can now do with this folder is you can put this on a external drive if you wish, but what I'm going to do is, because I use a NAS, I'm going to stick her on my NAS and then download it to the uh, destination one. So let me go and set up the destination system and we will see about getting all this imported over there. Right, so we've got our Plex stuff over here. That took a little while. Um, I had to transfer it via USB in the end. Uh, so what we're gonna now do is just go to Plex and download the latest version. We'll tell if I was typing on the correct one. So just go to Plex.tv and then you should see downloads at the top right here. Click on there and we want Plex Media Server. When that comes up, it says select which one. So this is going onto a Windows system. Obviously select what one you want and then download Windows 32-bit. So I'm gonna get this installed and uh, we will be back. And now we just need to sign in. So I'll do that. Once it's signed in, you have to shut the Plex server back down. So I'm just going to quickly sign in here. Right, so I'm just getting this window at the moment, uh, just constantly logging in. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut it down. We need to shut it down anyway. We're going to fully shut down the server here in the bottom right. I'm going to right click that and exit. So that's that. And then we are going to go to the location for this, remember? So we got in here, we got the media server as well as the registry. So we'll do the media server first. So if you remember, we go to the search uh, box at the bottom here and we type in sent local app data percent and then we just open file location by year. There we are, we are now in the local here. Oh, that one should have opened up as well. So there we are, we're now in here. And we can see the Plex media server there. So what we want to do is we want to copy this entire server over like so just drop it at the bottom and then it should tell us that there is um, the same files here and ask us what we want to do you see at the moment it's just moving everything over and we'll come back uh, once there's something different but every time it brings one of these up you want to hit replace so hit replace on all of them And there we are, job done. So now it's all moved over to the uh, local in the app data. So that's that section done. Now the reg um, registry file by here. I think we could just double click it, hit yes. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? So uh, add in this information or change delete values. So we just hit yes to that one. The keys and the values containing the Plex registry have now successfully been added. So now, theoretically, all we need to do now is to boot up the Plex app. So we will search for Plex Media Server. There we go. So we're going to run it as administrator. Uh, you may not need to run it as administrator, but every time it says that, I always tend to run it. There we go, it's now booted up at the bottom there. Let's open it up. And here we are, we've now opened up Plex. Let's hit more. We've got Office Plex by here. Uh, let's go to and open up that one that we said earlier. And there we go, Law and Order. Season two, episode 19. We've got three left that we did earlier on. There we go, it's fully moved over and migrated to the new server. The old system is shut down and it's even using the old server's name. Um, the other thing that you may need to do with yours is um, move your files stuff over. So if I open up this and go to uh, this PC, you'll see that I've already created a, um, a drive location for my NAS because all my stuff is stored on my NAS, so it's all there, uh, ready to go. If, you, um, if you've if you got anything, you will have to move it all over from one PC to the other if you use the files on the same system. But that is it, that's, that's um, how you migrate Plex over to a new system. 
now I've got this system up and running it's uh, nice and um, uh, low on power compared to the old one technically I don't need this now so I can delete that as well and that's it so if this video is helpful to you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and uh, let me know if there's anything else you want me to see uh, to do with Plex or on this server let me know and once again thank you all to my uh, Patreon and PayPal um, followers they need to be up the top right your support is greatly appreciated ciao for now everyone